The next question, the member for Lanark, Frontenac, Kingston. Speaker, Speaker, my question is for the Premier. Yesterday, this government released another COVID scheme based on meaningless data. As if the public wasn't already confused enough, our Premier changed the rules yet again. Not to stop the virus, which he can't, but to baffle people and create the appearance he can. These new measures are absurd, irrational, and inane. They're better suited to a Monty Python parody. Serving beer after 9 p.m. is now unsafe. Casinos are open, but their tables are closed. Masks are not needed while working out in a gym, but they are when lining up outside, and while your server is wearing goggles to serve your beer. All these rules, but no evidence to support them. Lockdowns don't work, just like the millions that are unemployed and the businesses destroyed. Speaker, the end game is the end game a never ending crisis, Question. confusion, and contradictions. Deputy Premier and Minister of Health to reply. Thank you very much, Speaker. Actually, this framework was designed to provide more certainty to people, to businesses, to understand where each part of the region, or each part of the province stands with respect to COVID 19. You're right, it's not going away right away and in the near future until we have a vaccine. So we need to learn how to deal with it, how to live with it. And as part of that, we need to provide information to the public on what their responsibilities are too. That's why we've developed both the framework as well as the dashboard that's being uh, po posted on our uh, Ontario.ca forward slash coronavirus website so that people can click into their specific public health region, understand what stage it's at, what the restrictions are, if any, and be able to make their own decisions about whether they want to go out to dinner in a restaurant, whether they want to go and work out in a gym, whatever Response. it is that they want to do. This is to provide greater certainty to everyone as we're dealing with COVID-19 going forward. To the Premier, thinking people understand that the true measure of risk from any disease is not the number of cases, but rather the severity of the illness and the number of hospitalizations and deaths that result. If the number of cases meant anything, every province, state and country would shut down from September to April every year for the flu. But that would be absurd, irrational and inane just like the government's proposals. But it gets worse. The Premier proposes testing 100,000 healthy people every day, which his own government acknowledges will produce approximately 1,000 false positives every day. However, which then justifies this endless circle of futility and misery. Speaker, coronaviruses are real. But the crisis is not. It is won by the Premier's own making. Minister of Health to reply. Thank you, Speaker. And uh, through you, I would like to say to the member, I don't know exactly what point it is that you're trying to make, but I think what we need to look at are the facts. The facts are Order. that we have testing. We are increasing our testing, tracing, and contact management Order. by a billion dollars. We're increasing the numbers. We're increasing the testing, contact management, and I think it's also for really Lanark, important Frontenac, to Kingston, note. To order. It's really important to note that in cases per hundred thousand, Ontario is the sixth in order in, uh, in any province outside the Atlantic bubble. Manitoba has 252 per 100,000. It goes on Alberta, Quebec, Saskatchewan, BC. Ontario is the lowest at 56 per 100,000. And that indicates our plan is working. We are making ach achievements. Response. And the plan that we've put into place now is to give certainty to businesses to make sure that we can take action sooner so the businesses might not have to close. We want to keep businesses operating. We want to keep people in business. We want to keep track of their... Thank you very much.